Shalom, shalom. This is Kapalya, a.k.a. Pops, out of GMS Chicago, with another sit-down. Before I get started, though, like always, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakodash. To the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York, I want to send double honors because they do rule well. For the brethren around the world, pushing this truth on cut on filth to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly of the scriptures, correctly breaking down the prophecies and interaction with the people on the planet, declaring war, declaring war on it, I send salutations. For the hopeful elect, I hope this is edifying. For the aqua, the few, and the truth is listeners to say it and share to keep doing so. But for the scorn and scoff of reprobate two thirds Israelites and 17 other nations who's in the midst of Jacob's trouble, he's only going to get a whole lot worse. You see the name on this is called the Smith, Smithsonian Magazine. Smithsonian Institute, you know, that's where you used to have a lot of your archaeological digs and all this other kind of stuff, the stuff they go and find. It's old and this, that, and other, and we stand out there and we tell you that, you know, these, these Rothschilds and Oppenheimers and Bilgerbergs and DuPonts and Gettys, you know, these elite banking families, you know, they'll read something or whatever the case might be or come across something in the scripture or whatever the case might be. And just through curiosity, they'll, they'll make a funding or something and go and dig up some shit and this, that, and other. So they know that the scriptures is true and this, that, and other, but they can't help themselves in the in the move that they make, moves that they're making now because it's been preordained. It's prophecy. So even if they want to get off this ride, they can't get off this ride. So anyway, one of the things we used to say all the time was the fact that, you know, these people, you know, didn't close their prison houses and long after the long after slavery was supposed to be over, which it never was because the emancipation, so called proclamation, didn't abolish slavery. It just transferred it from the from uh, 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 free labor in the South to indentured labor up north for the uh, the twentieth century uh, 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 mechanized uh, 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 system that was coming into play and whatnot. So you know all the steel mills and railroads and all that other kind of shit that was getting ready to really blow up. They needed people to work that, and they didn't want to uh, be bothered with you know, their own, so they go and get motherfuckers that used for, used to get nothing and get them to do the work. So anyway, um, I'm going to show you this and then uh, put some scriptures to it. Okay, so like I said, the Smith Smithsonian, let's read some of this article. This yacht traveled, no, this yacht trafficked, traffic it enslaved Africans. It wasn't Africans. We already know that that was Israelites. Long after the slave trade was abolished. New exhibit in Louisiana details the story of the wanderer. The uh, penitent ship to illegally transport enslaved people into the U.S. Okay. Uh... Okay, written on uh, May the 4th this year, the 19th century, 19th century, century ship, the Wanderer, was an opulent pleasure yacht with a sinister underside, a hidden deck where hundreds of enslaved Africans, we know those was Israelites, were held captive and illegally trafficked, trafficked into the United States. Now, almost 150 years after the Wanderer final voyage, the Finding Our Roots African American Museum in Holman, Louisiana, is telling the stories of the people who survived the transatlantic slave, the transatlantic crossing, and went on to live in the American South. You see, you see how you got these people. They, they, they find some truth, but they can't put 
the correct titles on it. So here they are calling themselves Finding Our Roots African American Museum, Finding Our Roots After Two White Men, Scipio Africanus and America Vespucci Museum. I hate this shit. I hate the fact that these people are on this. Okay. It's telling the stories of the people who survived the transatlantic crossing and went on to live in the, in the South America, American South. As Marge Scobie, president and curator of the museum, tells the Corias, Keisha Setiawan, creating the museum's newest exhibit titled Blood, Sweat, and Tears, was a fulfilling and deeply personal experience. Believe it or not, I'm excited because I found out it's one of my families who was on board, she says. It can become overwhelming, but my ancestors drive me. Finding our roots unveiled the exhib- finding our roots unveiled it, the exhibition during a grand reopening held last month. Like many institutes across the country, the museum has been closed for the past year due to COVID-19 restrictions. The museum depicts so much and exposes the beauty we have regardless of the challenges we have faced. Uh, Tibber Ducks City Councilwoman Constance Johnson, who attended the April 14 reopening tells, Swaya, uh, Set your one for a separate Korea article. Today is a day of love. Per the Associated Press, Blood, Sweat, and Tears features soil collections from plantations in the area, photographs from the last years of legal slavery, and documents that help that can help visitors investigate their own family connections to the people enslaved on local plantations okay this bring us the strongest and the best oh, oh, oh this ain't that okay sorry about that I'm thinking of a different phone I was recording now this brings us the strongest and the best who pour themselves into culture and heritage and leave us a legacy that will tie us, that will tie each of us together. Bessie Bonds, press secretary for Louisiana, Lieutenant Governor Billy Nergesser tells the Courier. The scriptures, this, this old New Testament apographer gives us the history that we need to know you know all this other stuff if it if it enhances or it, it can stay true but like I said we could look at what they write if I really wanted to go in and grab that book and look at it and see what lines up with scripture and what don't and know where they was on point and where the fuck they went off at based off of the scriptures though so Congress prohibited the trafficking of enslaved people from <clears throat> outside the country in 1808. Now, watch what it says. Though Congress prohibited the trafficking of enslaved people from outside the country. So if you was inside the country, what that mean? You still, <laughs> you were still eligible, huh? So the underground slave trade continued until close to the start of the Civil War. The Wanderer was one of the last known illegal slave ships to enter the U.S. as Christopher Klein wrote for History.com in 2016. William Corrier and Charles Lamar, two prominent fire eaters, were advocates for the reopening of the international slave trade purchased the yacht in 15 I mean in 1858 and retrofitted it to hold captives installing a hidden deck and a 15,000 15,000 gallon fresh water tank 
dig that so retrofitting so they was they was wicked with it and they and they brought some ingenuity to the table on how to how to pull it off and, and, and get it done in July 1858 the ship left port while flying the pennant of the New York Yacht Club, where Correo was a member. The crew sailed to the west coast of Africa, where they purchased almost 500 slaves, most of them teenage boys. Many of the enslaved people died on the six-week voyage, but around 400 made it to Jekyll Island, Georgia, where they where they uh, they were then sold in slave markets across the South. Six weeks. They said that they were able to make this sale in a six-week period. Okay, that goes against what we're saying, but you know, like I said, I guess if it was a, a straight move, but. Like I said, that goes against what the scripture says on some level, but like I said, it was a transatlantic three prong. So maybe maybe this is just a, 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 a shorter director route and whatnot, cause the scripture brings it as a three year round trip thing to go there and come back. So it'd be like 18 months to get here, but you know, it don't sound like they were stopping down in the, uh, the, uh, 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 down through the northern kingdom portion of anything they were just coming straight to the America so okay given the impossibility of keeping the influx of captives from Africa into the slave markets quiet Corey Lamar and others involved in the scheme were soon arrested and tried in federal court in Savannah but the, ju- but the jury of white southern men refused to convict them Okay, I'm going to put a scripture right there. Put a scripture right there. Okay, Psalm 73. Um, I'm going to go straight to the point. Psalm 73, I'm going to go straight to the point. Uh, Verse 5. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride can pass them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. See, so this Edomite did all that, and he wasn't even prosecuted. The, the the Edomites that was on the jury couldn't find it in their heart to prosecute him, okay? It's, you know, you did it, it was illegal, but we don't give a fuck, okay? So, let's go back to the, the article. Sometimes that's why I don't bark, I don't jump around because when you jump out of this thing, then they like to put all kinds of other stuff in the middle of it. Okay. Uh, let's see, got all this other stuff. I want to jump in here now. I might not break away anymore. Because we got all kinds of advertisement. It wants to come up. Okay. Right? Uh, okay. Uh, 
Okay, but I'm gonna pick up back here where it's, uh, but the jury of white Southern men refused to convict them, according to the Massachusetts Historical Society. One of the judges in the case was actually Lamar's father-in-law. In May 1861, the federal government government seized the wanderer as an enemy vessel and used it in blockades of Confederate ports. The ship eventually sank off the Cuban coast in 1871. Writing for the magazine of Jekyll Island, in 2018, Rosalind Bentley reported on the life of a survivor of the Wanderer. Uh, Sidla Caney, later known as Ward Lee, just five years after his arrival in the U.S., Lee was freed, but he remained stranded in a foreign country. Years later, he penned a public letter seeking help returning to Africa. Okay. The missive read, I am bound for my old home if God be with me. Okay. Scripture there is no because it says Deuteronomy 28, 68 you be sold to your enemies and no man shall redeem you. Okay, so you know, the Israelites are still stuck in this country still being subject to to uh, the tyranny and slavery uh, 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 under this uh, Edomite. It has evolved and whatnot, and the curses are starting to pass pursuant to Deuteronomy 30 and 7. But uh, still, okay. Uh, but Lee was never able to return home, exactly, because the scriptures didn't ordain that. His grandson, Michael Higgins, told Jekyll Island that his grandfather instead became a skilled artesian. Higgins recalled his grandmother telling stories about her husband while working, while holding a walking cane he had carved. She said he always talked about how we had to keep the family together, Higgins explained. That goes against Deuteronomy as well, where it says that you would have a longing eye basically for your children and things to this nature because your family will be split up. So that didn't happen either. So all this stuff that, that we wanted, so per se, went against what the Lord said was going to happen. So what happened? The Lord's word uh, rang true and everything else came up short. The last known slave slave ship to arrive in the U.S. the uh, Clotilda has also been at the center of recent efforts to reconnect families with their histories. In 2019 research researchers discovered the remains of the ship along the Mobile River as Allison Keyes reported for Smithsonian Magazine at the time, the Alabama community of Af Africa Town founded by some of the descendants of people trafficked on the uh, Cotilda worked with historians and researchers on the project. Okay, uh, one of the things that's so powerful about this is showing that the slave trade went later than most people think. Okay, so now I'm about to pull this scripture up. Yeah, it went longer than what, it, what you thought. Of course, the scripture, the scripture bears that out. Uh, scriptures bear that out. Trying to do this as quickly as possible. Uh, no. Yeah, go on Ezekiel 35. And 5. Because thou hast. Uh, yeah. Okay. 35 and 5 is Ezekiel. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end, 
So you held on and did this long after they had it had supposed to carry to an end, but it didn't last. It didn't run longer than than what it was supposed to. You just was. This was just to build your to build your sins up until they reach up into heaven. So when the Lord comes to destroy you, He can destroy you with an awful force. Okay. Therefore, as I live, said Lord Yahweh. I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Said thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. I will make, I will, thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out, and him that returneth. So you Edomites that thought that y'all had got away with this, Lord said, uh uh, nope, you got to blood that, and I am, and I am sending my son to collect with the 144,000 okay and the whole deal so uh, ain't that nothing <laughs> you gotta love that Bill and Melinda Gates announced divorce after 27 years of marriage I can't make this up I can't make this up I just flipped it I flipped you saw me flipping back and forth to do what I need to do okay and now it is what it is <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Let me see if I can go find this, though. Get back to the article. Let's see if it's going to let me go back there. No, it's on to a... Okay, maybe I'm getting to it now. Local. No, I to... See, I hate when uh, when it does this stories to read now I don't want to give me the story that I had but that's okay if it won't pull it back up to me I'm not going to interpreter Z. Shelley Wang allegedly denied splitting up uh, whatever okay Okay, let me see. If we won't go back to uh, that. Okay, I don't need to go back to it then. Alright, so so I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna try to go back to it. So as y'all as y'all saw what I was reading, you know, these people didn't didn't uh. uh put away slavery or this that and the other but when we stand out there now and want to confront them about it they want to say that that wasn't them and this that and the other but the scripture says you come back every third or fourth generation so you know the, you're going to have to pay for that okay let me get this other scripture then since it didn't go back to that like I had to hope that it would uh okay that was the last scripture I read, 30, 35 and 7. Let me go to Isaiah, 14th chapter, and the 16th verse. Okay, Isaiah, no, Isaiah 14 and 16. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? that did shake kingdoms. So see, this Edomite was given control of the world under Job 9 and 24, under Mac the Maccabees, Alexander, the Crete, who y'all call the Great, uh, uh, doled it out to his four generals and evils was multiplied. And we still in the midst, and we're in the midst of this right now. Okay, you had Rome, it fell off and it's back again as 2.0, America Babylon. Okay, so this is going to be destroyed. It's got to be destroyed. Okay, and you still got evidence and people popping up and uh, 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 things showing that when y'all thought this, this slavery thing was over with, no, nah, it kept going a long time after that. Okay, so I'm going to read this last verse. That made the world as a wilderness uh, and destroyed the cities there that opened not the house of his prisoners. Okay. 
and and you got modern day jails right now. It's got what they done made marijuana legal, but you got people still doing jail time for when it was illegal. See what I'm saying? These people are hypocritical, okay? But it's all designed because this is not our rest, and you people want to get along and share the kingdom, and and, and want these people to stand side by side with you, you know and be joint rulers with, with, with the Israelites, y'all a damn fool. So with that, I hope that's edifying. I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and to the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York. Again, I send devil honors because they do rule well for the brothers around the world, pushing the truth uncut, unfiltered, giving the good, the bad, and the ugly the scriptures, correctly breaking them down, and declaring war on the planet. Salutations again. Again, hope that's it. Hope that's edifying. Aqua, few intruders, listeners to say they cheer to keep doing so. The you scorn us call for reprobate two third Israelites that want to be joined hand in hand with this kingdom and want this to get back to normal and continue forward. You uh 17 other nations, y'all in the midst of Jacob's trouble is going to get a whole lot worse. And with that, a bob a bomb.